if there is an exception, if something is outside the parameters of the guardrails, then a human needs to look into it and make a judgment call. But you want like 95% of these situations to be completely automatically resolved and without any kind of human involvement. I think that if we look a little bit into the future, organizations are going to realize that they need to be able to be proactive, that the security teams need to have ability to look at things before they go to production. But you don't want to revert to the situation where the development teams need to ask for permission for everything that they do. That's just going to slow everything down and nobody wants that. So the industry needs to find a way so that you can have your cake and eat it too. So you, the security teams are able to define guardrails that are tested automatically during the development phase, during the deployment phase, and all kinds of checkpoints in the software lifecycle, these guardrails need to kick in and check whether whatever it is on the table is being done in a reasonable way, automatically checked, without human intervention, in a way that human intervention gets pulled in only when it's necessary.